pleased to welcome Vincent uh, Bugliosi, uh, who's give me the book. Uh, who's author of several timely books. I think this is his latest one, uh, The Prosecution of George W. Bush for Murder. Uh, and uh, he, of course, is a well-known former Los Angeles County Deputy District Attorney, uh, remembered for his prosecution of Charles Manson in 1970. He's still been a very active, and we welcome uh, his appearance before the committee today. Mr. Chairman and members of the committee, <clears throat> I have been told that the rules of this House dictate that although I can quote what President George Bush said, I am forbidden from accusing him of a crime or even any dishonorable conduct, only being allowed to use the words Bush administration or administration officials. This will not make for the best of articulations, but I'll do the best that I can. In my book here, The Prosecution of George W. Bush for Murder, I present evidence that proves beyond all reasonable doubt that Bush administration officials took this nation to war in Iraq on a lie under false pretenses and therefore under the law. They are guilty of murder for the deaths of over 4,000 young American soldiers who have died so far in Iraq fighting their war. And let's not forget the over 100,000 innocent Iraqi men, women, children, and babies who have died horrible, violent deaths because of this war. I am fully aware that the charge I have just made is a very serious one, but let me say that at this stage of my career I don't have time for fanciful reveries. I never in a million years would propose a murder prosecution of Bush administration officials if I didn't believe there was more than enough evidence to convict them and that I was standing on strong legal ground. What is some of that evidence? Because of time constraints, I'm only going to mention one piece of evidence today. I have documentary evidence that when George Bush told the nation on the evening of October 7, 2002, that Saddam Hussein was an imminent threat to the security of this country, he was telling millions of unsuspecting Americans the exact opposite of what his own CIA had told administration officials just six days earlier in a classified report on October the 1st that Hussein was not an imminent threat. But it gets worse. On October the 4th, the Bush administration put out an unclassified summary version of the classified report so they could give it to Congress and the American people. And this unclassified version came to be known as the White Paper. And in this White Paper, which I have in front of me, the conclusion of U.S. intelligence that Saddam Hussein was not an imminent threat to the security of this country was completely deleted. Every single one of these all-important words was taken out. So Congress and the American people never saw any of this. Since we are talking about a matter of war and peace, with the safety and lives of millions of human beings at that time hanging in the balance, and with Congress about to vote in one week on whether or not it should authorize George Bush to go to war in Iraq, what could possibly be worse?